After scanning both arches, it's necessary to record the patient's bite. Ask the patient to bite down in a centric occlusion to capture their natural closure. This scan helps in aligning the maxillary and mandibular scans accurately. Mandibular movement recording is a crucial technique for reducing occlusal adjustments in splint design by precisely documenting how the jaw moves in all directions without opening the mouth. The recording process involves the patient keeping their mouth closed and using a scanner to document jaw movements as they move their jaw forward, backward, left, and right. This technology allows dental professionals to provide customized treatments, improving the patient's treatment experience. In the alignment mode of the Medit Splints app, you'll align the scan data to the virtual occlusal plane. The occlusal adjustment mode in the Medit Splints app is about modifying the occlusal relationship between the upper and lower teeth. In the outline designation mode of the Medit Splints app, you delineate the perimeter of the splint along the buccal, cheek side, and lingual, tongue side, aspects of the teeth. The outer surface creation mode is where the thickness of the lingual and buccal surfaces is adjusted. Additionally, for printers with multi-jet technology, you have the option to create a dual-layer splint, separating the design into inner and outer layers for different material properties. In design mode of the Medit Splints app, you can finalize your splint design. You can add, edit, or delete labels on the splint. 3D modeling software and exporting it in a format compatible with your 3D printer, typically SDL or UBJ. The next step is to import the file into slicing software. This software converts your 3D model into instructions that the printer can understand. It's important to adjust the angle of your model. We'll show you how to rotate your model for optimal printing. Support Edition for models with overhangs or complex geometries, adding supports is crucial. We'll guide you through adding supports to ensure your model prints correctly. Profile selection. With your model sliced, it's time to print. Load the slicing file into your printer and start the print. After printing, carefully remove your model from the build plate. Next. Clean your model to remove any residual material. Depending on the type of printer, this might involve washing with solvents or water. Remove the support structures. We'll show you how to do this without leaving marks or damaging your model. For some materials, post-curing under UV light or heat is necessary to achieve the final strength and surface finish.